In this tutorial, we're going to go over the code 242, valid anagram. Now, what this question is saying is it's saying, given two strings S and T, return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. Now, we can see here in our first example, we have anagram as S and the second variable T, and this is going to output true. And that is because they contain the exact same letters, just in a different sorted order. Now, here we have rat and car. However, this returns false as we're missing a T in the second statement. If this were to say tar, this would then be true. Now, essentially what an anagram is, is a word that could be created using a word previously, for example, silent and listen, and I'll put a few other examples on screen here. Now to answer this question, we could use the len function and then sorted. Now what we can do here is we can set the first condition to get false for any values that aren't anagrams. So what we can do is we can test for lengths first. So we can do if len s doesn't equal len t, we want that to return false, as if they're not the same length, they can't be an anagram. That's because you can't make one word using another if there's leftover letters. Now, in the second condition, we can come down and we're going to do return sorted s, and we're going to check if it equals sorted t. Now, what this will do is it'll check all sorted combinations to see if they'll work against one another and return a true. And we can run it to test. We can see that was accepted. And we can submit. Now, you can see this answer here, but it's 26% in terms of runtime and 40% in terms of memory. Now, that's you can do leak code 242, valid anagram. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below, and please like and subscribe if this helped. That'll be all, and I hope that helps.